How are you doing? BK from ManForWars.com, ManForWars Media reporting here at 12, 18 p.m. on Saturday, May 9th, 2020 at Queen's Park, uh, just north of College University in downtown Toronto, Canada. And here at the uh, latest Toronto uh, end the lockdown protest and uh, get a document that at ManForWars.com, ManForWars Media. I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide offline locally teach kids to look, talk, and feel great and help uh, the same polite patriots offline locally discuss and share great info they find online with their neighbors, help them think for themselves by hearing different things so they can think about it and uh, making better people and better places to live. So ManForWars.com down now, but type in ManForWars, you'll find more stuff on that. Otherwise, we'll take a look at what's going on. I'll do... A circle here, just did a half an hour walking up here, showing you what's going on, the problem with the mass sketchy zombiosis, how better to play lead north, people you know and strangers, everyone feels better, and uh, hopefully they can stop. And um, otherwise, uh, we'll take a look at what's going on here. When it comes to the about 100 or so people here at this protest, uh, David Menzies from Rebel News is here, CBC News is here, there's some uh, police officers here, keep an eye on things, but with polite patriots, you know, they typically know you're not a jerk, you're not an Antifa style, commie zombie, you know, whatever, uh, hates the daddy didn't love you, hates everybody, wants to destroy everything. The samurai work for the king, uh, typically even the king's corrupt, many of them try and do a good job. You've got the Ronin, the masterless samurai, who try and get other stuff done that, that also serves and protects how you do it where they live. So, so, um, so yeah, so typically unless we have to bother each other, we don't, and things go all right. So, and there we go. is all right shut the gates nice all right look at that how you doing all right hello hello so hello 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 look at that so i'll get a shot of the perimeter and then i will talk to a few folks here about what's going on So, and there's some of Toronto's finest over there, just chilling. They know we're not scumbags, they don't have to worry about us, we have to worry about them. And one of us acts stupid, we don't, one of us will have to say or do something, but otherwise, eh. In my experience, typically it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Relatively easy day at the office. So, hello. hello. There you go. All right, how you doing? How you doing? Good stuff. All right. So I'm gonna go in here, connect with a couple of people I know, and uh, try and get their thoughts, and then uh, go from person to person to person. We'll see. All right, so now this is more than people. This might be a couple of people here. This is great. There you go. How you doing? My body, my choice. How are you? Excellent. Man, if you don't mind, what do you mean by your my body, my choice side? I'm not getting in a vaccination. They're not going to put any poison or anything in me. I don't want to be microchipped. I'm not a robot. I'm a human being. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My body, my choice. Uh, anything anything further to add? I mean, if people out there, let's just say people out there are, 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 are like, well, you know, we got this thing. We want to be safe. Don't you know. believe the news. Do, do your own research. Do not believe the news. The fake news is right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you for you. being here. And thank you for making a, a positive contribution. Thank you. Cheers. How about you, man? You want to explain why your sign's upside down? Sometimes I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, just, I'll let you go in a sec, but a lot of times we go to left-wing protests and people are making a racket, but they're not making any sense. They can't explain why they're making a racket. If you're gonna make a demonstration like this with your flag upside down, holding that flag, uh, bandana on your face, I hope you can say, okay, we're curious. Why are you doing that on a Saturday? Uh, what's your answer? Well, in regards to the flag upside down, people that don't know the, what it means I, I can see where they'll get get offended it's a symbol of our country symbol of what we stand for but the upside down flag 
uh, it has a lot of significance because uh, what warships would do, uh, you know, in times of distress to right. signify that they need help, is they would lower their flag, turn it upside down, and and raise it. So people that are sailing by will know that we're there in distress. So that's what this means. I, I still love my country. I'm a proud Canadian. But this means we are in distress. Look at what's happening now. We can't go anywhere, can't work. People are getting told told that they can't go to parks, can't go here, can't go there. They must stay six feet apart. You can't visit your friends. We're in distress. That's what it means. That's that's what an upside down flag means. It's not disrespectful at all. Right. So basically, the, the ship of Canada is sinking, and uh, we need to react to that and save it from sinking. And that is your message to Canadians with the upside down flag. Yeah, yes, that is. Now, so tell me, what did you think of um, of Doug Ford coming out and saying that's disrespectful? And, uh, and, and yet either Doug uh, is ignorant or willfully ignorant or the media is not offering an explanation. You know, they didn't necessarily talk to you or others about it because they could just put your side. They could say, well, he thinks it's disrespectful, but I think what's happening in this country is disrespectful and we need to sound the alarm. And this is a classic historically recognized way that sinking ships or, or ships in trouble have announced that they're, you know, that they're in distress. So what do you think about them sort of printing one side, not the other? That's ex exactly what I said earlier. People that don't know any better or don't want to know any better, they, they get offended when they see stuff like this. Right. And they, they, like you said, either don't know or refuse to want to find out what the significance are, is. He has yet to come out and actually talk to any of us to see why we are out, why we are going out of our way, taking time out of our busy day to come and be act like a bunch of yahoos, according to him, standing up for our rights. He has yet to come out and talk to one protester. While, while he's telling us to stay out of our cottages, here he, here he goes going up to his. He should come out and actually talk to us to find out why we're why we are actually here. Well, I agree. And, and since he won't do that, that's what I'm doing for ManForWars.com, ManForWars Media. Um, with respect to that, any final thoughts to uh, to the people of Canada on what's going on and, uh, and the response to this uh, COVID-19? I, I think, you know, people should stop listening to the mainstream media. Stop listening to the fear mongering that, they, that they're putting out. Actually do some research. Actually, like, think rationally. Don't just li listen to what anyone else says. Actually think for yourself. You were given a brain. Think for yourself. Gotcha. Um, and with respect to that, um, online's fine, but there's also the offline info war to kind of get posters and flyers up and out to people. What do you think of that idea? Sorry, sorry, what? Well, online's fine. We share stuff, but online we often talk to like minds. But what about offline, hitting the streets, dropping flyers off in people's hands and mailboxes, leaving on windshields, oh. putting up posters? Oh, I'm all, I'm all for for that. You know, the more people that wake up to what what's what's going on, the, the better. We need more people waking up instead of si sitting sitting in their homes doing nothing. The, the, what's happening now is affecting the mental health of all Canadians. The damages to our mental health, the suicides, the substance abuse that's going to occur because people can't can't feed, feed their families, cannot pay the bills. You know, people that are used to providing for their families are forced to now rely on government welfare. It's going to make people depressed. It's going to cause people to go to turn to drugs, turn to alcohol, turn to smoking. The stuff like that is going to have a bigger uh, bigger effect on our population than this COVID-19 garbage that they're spitting out. Cool, brother. Uh, what's your name? My name is Josh. Josh BK. Nice to meet you. Hey, Josh. I'll tell you what. Um, if you if you got a sec, and if you're into it, why don't you scratch down your email, sure. and I'll email you. Uh, you know, with this footage, and you can use it for whatever you want. Sure. And plus, if you want to try it, get together and do some offline Infowars stuff, then uh, a so bunch of guys can save this. Uh, Manforwars.com and Manforwars Media. So manforwars.com. I figure 300 guys and a million bucks could save this city if we just are cool with each other, show everyone else how to be, and we, um, and we, uh, and yeah, and, and and so on. So. Yeah, give him Justin's too, please, Josh. Yeah. Sure. What's it? Josh, and then email. Yeah. Oh, I'm just emailing people. We, we used to we used to do this years ago against swine flu. We got together okay. and uh, we we went up postering and flyering. We were into the offline info war, not just the online info war. Where we're talking to like minds. You're on my Twitter list or on my whatever list. Yeah. But offline, where we're polite patriots. We get together. We respect each other. We get along better than most people do. And then we connect with other people. And we were respected, even covered by CBC back in the, the swine flu days. Yeah. You can check out manforce.com. You can you can see the original videos. But okay, my point cool. is right now. Yeah. I'd like to get a bunch of people 
offline, reaching out to our neighbors. If we gotta wear a mask and hand sanitizer, we'd be like, mask, hand sanitizer, take this flyer from six feet away yeah, from me, yeah, reach out, take this flyer, right? Because then we can go out as a group yeah. in front of all these people here and say, look, we're not crazy, we're not evil, we're not bad. And, uh, and, and we're just, we're just we're together as a group of people getting along. And we just want you to take, for example, this is, uh, sorry, young lady, what's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, BK, nice to meet you. We used to do this. This is actually from 2009. See that? See that flyer? It's actually from 2009. We used to say, people were like, I'm not so sure about this. We just say, there you go, fold it in half, a tiny little piece of paper with some websites and info on it. So it's not that threatening. You just go like that, and that's it. Yeah. Well, there you go. You got my email. Awesome, Miss Vanessa. And also, for people that want to, um, that want to, Josh Canuck at ProtonMail and Vanessa Rogers at Live.ca. For people that, now I want to get your thoughts as well, by the way. Uh, you just asked me a question, and so I've got a lot to say on this. All I'm going to say is that that's a lot less threatening than arguing with somebody, mm -hmm. right? Like if somebody's pro-vaccine and I say, look, you're having a kid, you seem like a nice person, just take this, look into it if you want. They're cheap, 10 to a page. If you, if you don't like it, throw it out. If you do like it, enjoy. So, awesome. So, Vanessa, I, I want to get your thoughts as well. You can you can keep that if you want. Thank you. Some of the stuff is old, but give me your thoughts on the sign you're holding and the lockdown and, and, and why you're here, why you're doing that. Just so people know you're not crazy. 